Much love to every subscriber tapping into our interviews. If you ain't tapping in, you tapping out. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Hit the bell for post notification and hit all. Enjoy the clip, everyone. Kenzo B, you tapped in with P Films. What's the word, man? What's the word? Chilling, chilling. Listen, you know, I want to start this off by saying, you know, uh, thank you for coming on the platform and giving me the opportunity to help tell your story, all right? So, here on P Films, you know, we try to help the viewers get to know Kenzo B, the rapper, but also the person. So, there might be, like, personal questions, but it's just to get the, the people who's watching it a little bit closer and to understand you on a deeper level. And a lot of subscribers sent me mad questions as I well. Not, I, I might just not answer them. I ain't gonna lie. It's all good. It's all good. <laughs> Bet. So, um, I was watching, uh, shout out to Futures TV. I was watching that interview. Um, and, you know, despite what a lot of people think, you know, you said that uh, your mother was doing time in Connecticut and you were actually born out there. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of people actually thought you was from RPT. So, now, now my question, you know, when I was watching the interview, I had mad questions to that right there. You know, did she deliver you like did she start delivering you delivering you while she was doing time or was that before then she did time? Yeah, How did she that was work? Delivering me while she was doing time. OK, then when then I, they... I stayed with her in a halfway house for like three months and then mm -hmm. I went home to my grandma and then she finished her time. OK, OK. Now, you know, a lot of people had mad questions about that because they be seeing your mother on the IG live and all that. Yeah. So they had so many questions. Um, can you speak on like what she got locked up for? No. Got you. Got you. And how much time did she do? She did like 11 years. OK. On, on one bed. Yeah. And I'm not sure how much years she did on my bed. The bed she had me on, I don't know. Bad. But, you know, another question they had was, um, you know, we know that you was younger, but do you ever, do you ever, like, remember going to visit her, and what was that like for you? Nah. Mm -hmm. When yeah. I left the halfway house, I just, I went to Harlem. Oh, okay. So Moved to Harlem, and then you did 12 years over there, then came nah. over here. Nah, my mom eventually came home. When she came home, I moved to the Bronx. Okay. And then... I was living in the Bronx for 12 years. Gotcha. From then I moved to the T's. Bad. Bad. How about, uh, how about the si your siblings? I know you you got your brother Bando, but there also was another sibling. How many y'all have? You have? I Yeah? Yeah. Gotcha. What was it like growing up with them? It was my dog. Man. Yeah? My dog. <laughs> <laughs> That's... Bad. That'd be cool. Gotcha. And I know, like, um... You know, it's, it's, I remember coming up here to do uh, Bando's interview, and your mother was here, and she's also um, here with you as well. Mm -hmm. You know, what is it like having a parent that's so supportive to, um, you know, your career? I mean, it's cool. It's, it's good. Mm hmm Like, I know a lot of people wish they had a supportive mom like mine, but for me. Yeah. A lot of people from here that I interviewed on my platform, they gave their experience of what it was like, you know, However, aside from uh, aside from native dancer, everybody else was were men. But I'd like to know, you know, from a woman's point of view, your personal experience. You know, what was what are some of the things you remember going through and growing up out here? I got real anti-social mm -hmm. growing up. Yeah, I used to be a social butterfly, but now I'm just like I'm good with people. I'm good with everything. I'm just to myself. Yeah. Well, so not so much. Yeah. Why do you feel like that? Like, that happened? <sighs> Niggas be the back door. <laughs> mm. You know, it, it's crazy that you say that, because I feel like a lot of us, when we're younger, it's kind of like we be down and talk to everybody, bad, pure, yeah. innocent. As you start getting older, it's kind of like you, you have certain negative... There was a lot of love in this world when I was younger. Now, mm -hmm. there's, there's no love out here. Mm. Do you have any, like, personal experience, like an example of something that occurred? Mm. Everybody yeah. just be on some weird shit. Everything just weird. Got you.